A shooting this morning at a congressional baseball practice in Virginia has some leaders calling for more security tonight. Four people were shot and one was hurt today, including a leading Republican congressman. Tonight, we're hearing from a California congressional leader who's experienced this kind of violence firsthand. Having been shot five times was a horrific experience, and it stays with you the, the rest of your life. That's California Congresswoman Jackie Speer, who was shot nearly 40 years ago, just before the Jonestown massacre in Guyana. After today's shooting, she spoke to CBS 13 about that chilling day. New tonight, Macy Jenkins is in the newsroom. She has more now on what she had to say. Macy? Well, Adrian and Sam, Congresswoman Spears says it's unacceptable that this happened at practice for a charity baseball game. And some of her constituents say it's another thing that makes them scared to take their children out to play. An innocent baseball game in Virginia turned into chaos Wednesday morning when gunshots started to fly. Five people were rushed to the hospital, one of them House Majority Whip Steve Scalise. There's a palpable angst that exists in this country right now. California Congresswoman Jackie Spears says hearing the news took her back in time. I feel the same sense of hopelessness that I think I felt when it happened 39 years ago. November 18, 1978, Spear had just made the trip to Guyana with her boss, Congressman Leo Ryan. The two were visiting Jonestown cult leader Jim Jones. But a seemingly peaceful meeting quickly changed when she and several others were gunned down on an airstrip. Congressman Ryan died on the scene while Spear spent months recovering. Having been shot five times was a horrific experience, and it stays with you the, the rest of your life. She says Wednesday's shooting is a reminder that Americans need to create a better environment. There have been 154 mass shootings in the U.S. so far this year, and 387 last year, more than one shooting per day for all of 2016. But it's only in the United States that these types of shootings keep happening. Bill Durston is the president of Americans Against Gun Violence. Now is the time to enact stringent gun control measures like every other civilized country in the world. Typically, Speer says only the speaker, the majority leader, and the two whips have security, but the other 400 plus members of Congress do not. When a large numbers of us are gathered together, we become potentially a target and maybe we need to develop greater security measures. Spear told me about a touching moment during the security briefing this morning. Democrats and Republicans held hands and prayed for the shooting victims. And she says she is most certainly going to be at that charity baseball game tomorrow in Washington. A lot of people looking forward to that game for so many reasons tomorrow, Macy. Interesting to hear from her and get her perspective. Thanks so much for that live report. Our local congressmen and women are watching the investigation into the shooting as it all unfolds. We spoke to Democratic Representative Ami Barra and John Garamendi shortly after the shooting, and here's what they said to us. You never want to see this type of violence anywhere in America, but certainly, you know, um, one of our colleagues, Steve Scalise, was, was wounded, and our thoughts and prayers are with the Capitol Police and, and those that um, were wounded this morning. The number of shootings that have taken place across America over the last couple of years is, is horrible. And now it's been brought very, very close to our own turf here at the Capitol. And as a show of support today, the Democrats invited Republican counterparts to a joint dinner at the Democratic Club tonight in Washington, D.C.